guys, it's Diamond and today I am here to do a haul for you guys. Today I have a ton of great stuff from iKateHouse.com and I have partnered with them to bring you guys this video. I have heard and seen iKateHouse on YouTube so much. That's like one of those websites that like you have to have heard about. Like if you don't know about iKateHouse then I don't know what you're doing. Especially if you wear like lashes and stuff like that because this is just the go-to spot. So I got a few things. Um, some of the things I have used and some of the things I have not. And I will go ahead and just show you everything. All the links will be down below in the description box. So if you're interested in any of these items, you can get them from iKateHouse and it'll be listed below. So I know iKateHouse is a website where people order a lot of lashes. They have really expensive lashes like that are a dollar so if you don't have places where you can buy those lashes locally or if you just don't have access to all the styles you could definitely check them out just for lashes alone I got a couple of styles and I got a lot of multiples of the same ones just so I could try out some different lashes and I feel like dollar lashes are like always bomb so I got the cram shop wispies I got a couple of these. I know a lot of people really like wispy lashes. I just never got into them because I've always been more of a dramatic person. But I got these wispies. I Kate Lashes in the number 82. And these are just like a natural, but they're long. I like, if I wear natural lashes, they still need to be long at least. So these are number 82. These are Cherry Blossom number 38 and as you can see they're just spiky but they're not too too like thick and full. They're more sparse but they're like spiky like that. 202s. Um, I didn't know these were going to be so full but I only got one pair of these just to see. But yeah, you know, full lashes. I Kate Lashes in number 113. Once again, not too full but very long. Cherry Blossom Lashes in number 62. I wanted to try some spiky looking lashes because I never wear lashes like that. Number 805, I Kate Lashes. I am wearing these today and I really like them. Number 302, Creme Lashes. And number 74. So I Kate House could definitely be your one stop shop. They had more than just dollar lashes. They had a whole bunch of different kind of lashes. But most of, if not all of the ones I got were were a dollar. Definitely less than two dollars. I think they were all a dollar. The next thing that I feel like is super duper great to buy off of this kind of website is lip liners. Uh, so I got three lip liners and they are by LA Girl. I got the color Nutmeg, Perfect Brown, and Brick. The only one I opened so far was Perfect Brown, so I'll open it and give you guys a swap. And it's just a lip liner. Like, I personally am somebody that feels like you don't need to go super expensive on lashes and I feel like you don't need to go super expensive on lip liners either so I think these were a dollar or something around a dollar and I like them they definitely get the job done I have on this one in perfect brown today to line my lips so I love dollar lip liners get with the winning team I also took a recommendation from my girl Aaliyah's face here and I asked her what is a good eyelash glue. I was using the House of Lashes glue which is super duper too strong for me and it was just, it was clogging up my lashes it seemed like and I just didn't like it. So I tried this brush on duo and she said this was way better. I used it today. It seems like it's way better so I got a couple of these which you can also get on the website so I was happy about that because since I was already on the website getting other things I just grabbed a couple of these too and that's the that's the great thing about it is that like they have so much stuff on the website it's not just stuff that's a dollar it's it's other stuff too it's just a bunch of affordable stuff when I went to try to pick up these duo brush-ons in store they actually didn't have any so I mean I can't house another recommendation by my girl Aaliyah's face is this LA girl pro coverage HD foundation. I really like a lot of LA Girl stuff but I know that you can't always find LA Girl in stores. I definitely can't. Um, I know it depends on where you live but I usually can't find a lot of LA Girl stuff in stores so it's cool when places have it online because it's an affordable brand and it's bomb and I love this foundation so I'm probably going to have to order a few more of these. 
I did want to try some brushes. Um, I have been definitely trying to focus on my eyeshadow a lot more, um, getting better at it, and just trying to wear it more often. So I wanted to get some good blending brushes. I got two Cara Beauty brushes. This one is the K38. It's the crease brush. And as you can see, it's like a pointed crease brush. The other Cara brush I got is the 617 Large Blending Brush. And I used it today for this makeup look. I also got some brushes by LA Colors. This is a blending brush by LA Colors. And then I also got a tapered blending brush. I used this today in this makeup look. I got two like powder foundations. I don't have any that match my skin color right now. It is summertime, so I'm going to go from super dark to back to my normal skin color a lot. It's super duper hard for me to hold a tan, you guys. So I'm I'm probably gonna return back to my normal skin color soon, especially since I haven't really been out. This is the CoverGirl Smoothers Press Powder. And it's a translucent powder. I got it in translucent medium. And this one is in the color 305 to 310. It's their Ready, Set, Gorgeous Fresh Complexion called Medium Deep. <laughs> I don't know how deep this is, but this matches my skin color. And I wore it today to set my foundation. I got these two things from Milani. This is a Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil. I have another one in the color Glow that I really like, so I figured I would like this one a lot too. This is their Baked Blush in the color Red Vino, and I really wanted a nice red, like a darker blush because I have been getting into blushes lately so I definitely just need to expand my collection. I got the setting sprays. I got a three pack of the LA Girl setting spray because I've used it before and this is something that I will use on some clients too or if I need to like spray my brush or something I'll typically use this and so yeah I got these in a three pack. I also got the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. I have used this before. I have dry skin, so um, Dewy works great for me, especially when I wear matte foundation or something. So I tried this before. This is great. I got a e.l.f. bronzer little palette, and I got an e.l.f. blush and bronzing palette. Um, I know a lot of people that have this. This is in the color St. Lucia. It's supposed to be a dupe for NARS. I also got this spatula. This is to like mix your colors and stuff on. I got this Cara Glow Dust Palette. And it's basically like a highlighting and contouring palette. And I thought that this was really dope. I've never seen this before. I got it on this website. It has four shimmery like highlighter shades and two matte contouring shades and I feel like this is actually a really good contour color um this one's a little bit like pinkish so you can probably use this as a blush so look at that that's only wiping it one time this is the excess those are the top three colors really pigmented this is definitely a good thing so yeah that's everything that i got from i cake house if you guys want to see a tutorial using some of these things please leave a comment down below and don't forget to like this video check the links in the description box if you're interested in anything from i cake house if you're not already subscribed go ahead and subscribe turn on my notifications and click always if you always want to get notified <laughs> i will see you guys in my next video bye